20 years ago, this was the scene of the last war on Earth. This Pacific island is where the future was built, where the old guard, the fossilized establishment, was brought down. 20 years have been spent building a new Earth, a world of plenty and peace. But the old guard never went away. The remaining monsters of the 20th century, the death lovers, the power brokers, the old men who lived on theft and hate, have formed a cabal with the intent to break the world apart. With new machinery unimagined by the outside world, they have incorporated the island into a newly grown chicane of similar islands. The Earth literally forced by machines to throw islands up into an artificial design. The Cabal control their operations from the shielded island in the center of the chicane. Operations for war against a world that's given war up. It's up to the new society of 2032 to relearn war, to revive the last of the adaptive cruisers. Give it the ability to lend battle vehicles autonomous control by bonding their systems with the chip-contained minds of dead soldiers and to send them all into the chicane to fight their way through to Island Zero and the nightmare waiting there to be set loose on the planet. These are hostile waters. Walker. Morning, Church. Have you slept? I think I may have drifted for five minutes. It's hard, you know. Church. I've had word from Minitech. They finished their report on the missiles and warheads. I have the full analysis here. No heat signature, self-replicating fuel, fast strike... Seventy percent of the missile capable of carrying payload. I skimmed through it on the way up here. There aren't many people who have access to these technologies. Any of these technologies, not anymore. A few of our people, one or two from Minitech, no more. We made sure of that. Over the past 20 years, we've had our agents keep close tabs on all the radicals, and none of them have developed any significant weaponry, certainly nothing of this magnitude. Maybe a new group? One that slipped through the system? Nobody slips through the system. We've got more agents out there than there are faction members. If there was a split, we'd know about it. For Christ's sake, we control most of them. They can't take a shit without us knowing about it. Who, then? Come here. Some months ago, it came to our attention that large shipments of raw materials were being routed to an island chicane in the Pacific Ocean. Central's records show that new research facilities are planned for the area and that some work has begun, but this doesn't explain the quantities that have been shipped there. 
two weeks ago, we sent a small ops team into the area to carry out preliminary investigations. And? And we haven't heard from them. Their links have been disabled. Any clues as to why? Nothing but speculation and conjecture. But with that, alongside the attacks last night, the disappearance of three of our most prolific scientists over the past 12 months means we're fast running out of options. We need to act. At four o'clock this morning, Central gave the green light to reopen the Antaeus program. The Antaeus program? But the Antaeus technology is gone, destroyed. All the vessels disassembled after the war. They were, all but two. Look around you, Church. We use the same technology to purify the air, to provide food and clothing, to manage and maintain our environment. We've turned the technology into something that benefits every person in this city, every inhabitant of the Earth. Sit down, Church. There's something you don't know about the Antaeus cruisers, information that only a handful of people have ever been privy to, and that's been kept classified for the past 20 years. I'm listening. You've heard of Soul Catcher? Classified 1990s American military program? Theoretical research into storing human brain functions on silicon. It was closed in the late 90s to make funds available for the advancement of the SETI programs. Mostly correct, but it was never closed. Far from it. Every crew member on an Antaeus vessel was fitted with a Soul Catcher chip. If they ever died in combat, their thoughts, their abilities, their minds were stored on silicon, ready to be salvaged and used again to pilot a specially adapted craft built using the cruiser's onboard nanofactories. That's not all. The Soul Catcher system proved fine for most tasks, but it was crucial that the captain of a cruiser should always be corporeal, a real human with a real mind. This presented the scientists and technicians with a problem. The chips could survive being inactive for years on end, but how could a human be stored? How could they put a human being in stasis? The answer, unfortunately, was that they couldn't. So who? Walker. Sir? Church. Sir? Have you finished your briefing yet, Walker? No, sir. I was just... It'll have to wait. I've just heard from Central, and the news isn't good. Of the reactivations, only one has been successful. Antaeus Prototype Double Zero. What about Zero Four? Cerebral damage. It won't respond to the reactivation signal. We'll have to go with just the one cruiser. It's within a day of the last known position of the Spec Ops team, and is in a serviceable condition. When you say serviceable... Propulsion is online. Command is online. The net link is working. Scanners are online. The main guns are down. Replication is offline. Automated lifting is offline. How much can be repaired using the nano repair systems? Ah, uh, providing we're careful. Enough to hold the ship together. Until we can get it to a disused wet dock, situated 65 kilometers east of the current position. A mini-tech repair team is being dropped into the area at 2300 hours today. They're going to stay concealed until the cruiser is within an hour of the wet dock, just in case we're being observed. They'll then activate the automated service systems and dock the carrier. There's an island lying off the bow of the cruiser. There should be enough scrap metal lying around there to get the creation engines back online. The reactivation system has built one Pegasus unit and one Scarab unit. Equipped with the Soul Catcher interface is badly damaged, however. Captain, You'll need to use the direct link to control those vehicles until we've got your Soul Catcher interface back online. Church, I want you to patch into the carrier's systems 
and see if you can diagnose what is wrong. Do whatever you can to get that interface system working. Walker, monitor progress and advise as necessary. I want hourly updates from both of you. Don't let us down. are showing large amounts of metal concentrated to the southeast of the main crater. Once you have dropped Scarab onto the most easterly of the two beaches, you should move up to this area, salvaging whatever you can on the way. reminds me of what it was like. This island was over a mile square, you know. I've heard the stories, but I never thought...
Get a move on, Captain. Time is an issue here. Return to Antaeus for a full debrief. This is an artifact of nanotechnology, a science of small things. <laughs> 